Good morning, everyone. This is Marshall Geller bringing you the morning comment for February 17th. Well, the Greek talks ended with no agreement. They just ended abruptly last night with accusations of bad will between the two sides. Greece said that the European Commission had offered an acceptable path forward, but that the finance ministers changed the proposal to one that would tie Greece to its current agreement. That's simply unacceptable for Greece. End of talks. Uh, the Dutch finance minister, whose name I won't even try to pronounce, who is in charge of the Eurozone, the Euro finance minister's group, said that they could reconvene on Friday if there's a breakthrough. Now, the FX market remained remarkably calm through all of this. The euro was the worst performing G10 currency, as the dollar gained against uh, most others, but it was still nothing extraordinary. The day's range for euro dollar was quite average. Apparently, FX investors still believe a solution will be found, as do I. Uh, but I'd still expect more fireworks and volatility and another leg down in euro dollar before a solution is found. Now, what options are there? Uh, the easiest one would be for Greece to accept an extension of its current program. That would mean continuing the reform measures that are already promised, such as privatization and reducing the number of government employees, etc. Greece, a, a second one is that Greece has also threatened to turn to Moscow or China for the money. But that's a huge move politically for China and very, for Greece and very risky. Another possibility that academics are suggesting is for the government to issue a parallel currency uh, to fund its operations while they continue negotiations. That would be just sort of an IOU. California has done the same thing. However, people might take this as the first step to creating a new currency and leaving the Eurozone, so that could precipitate a bank run and financial chaos. Looking at these possible solutions, I think the first one is really the most likely. They'll have to find some face-saving way to make Greece accept the current program without it appearing that they're accepting the current program. One way might be just to rename a lot of things that upset the Greeks. Uh, the main sticking point seems to be political, not economic. Uh, today's highlights, today during the European day, the highlight will be the German ZEW survey for February. Uh, both of the indices are forecast to have risen. This will add to the evidence that the German economy is gaining momentum and could support the euro. In the UK, the CPI for January is expected to have eased further, but last Thursday's inflation report already predicted deflation in the UK. Therefore, the market reaction could be limited. In the US, the Empire State Manufacturing PMI for February is expected to show that business conditions for New York manufacturers uh, are expected to improve a bit, while the National Association of Home Builders Housing Market Index, also for February, is expected to show a small improvement. These could boost the dollar. For more information, including technical analysis, please read the full comment on ironfx.com. You can also follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or circle us on Google Plus to get more trading ideas. This is Marshall Giller, head of Global FX Strategy at INX Global, wishing you solid trading.